There was a study recently done where 70% of adults have voted that it's so much easier to make change during the fall than what it is during the New Year's resolutions. Not only that, one out of 10 people stick with their goals and the average goal stays and sticks around for three and a half months. So why would we make a whole goal for a whole year then actually just start today? Not only that, fall is the time of change and the reason why actually we stick with these goals and we actually make it happen. Why is that? Well, we have been programmed. Do you mean to tell me that this whole entire lifetime, from the age of maybe 5 to 18, whenever you go to school, that Christmas break and New Year's break feels like it's the beginning of the year? What? No, it's just something that's been on the calendar and programmed to put the next year on it. Oh, okay, it's 2024. Whenever I get back from Christmas break, now I put 2025. So why does it feel like it's so much easier to make change during the fall? Well, in this podcast, we're going to be getting straight into it. Why you need to change today, why you actually need to make your New Year's goals right now, and why you actually need to make sure that you actually accomplish that. And if you did not know, I am the Fearless Mentor. I am Josh McMahon, and this is the Fearless Mentor Podcast. We do one thing here, and that's trying to become our best selves each and every day, baby. So with number one, why is it so much easier, and why do so many people say it's it's easier to just change during the fall than the summertime or during the New Year's or et cetera? Because whenever it's 100 degrees outside, it is so much harder to, to go running or to make that change, or it's so much harder whenever it's winter time and it's freaking freezing, and all you want to do is just layer and layer up and wear like 10 different coats and oh my gosh, I can't go outside, I don't want to do nothing. So the reason why it's so much easier to make change during this time of year is because of one reason. You mean to tell me whenever you're growing up and your parents gave you money and your parents were like, go buy your new binder, go buy your new backpack, go buy your new clothes for the year if you were blessed enough to receive that. Even if it was just like, yo, here's 25 cents, go buy yourself a notebook and that's gonna be your notebook for the year. It didn't just give you some bit of excitement that excitingness and that excitement that would come up, oh my gosh, this is a new year. I'm gonna make new friends. I'm gonna do new changes. This is gonna be the year where I'm more talkative. This is gonna be the year where I try a new, you know, where I'm gonna shave my head. I'm gonna try a new hairstyle. I'm going to do sports this year, whatever it may be. The changes always started in the fall for us. It was the time of year when people would buy their clothes. Macy's and all these places would have these, these deals going on you would be like, I gotta buy these couple shirts because they're on sale. They're always on sale around this time whenever people go back to school. And it was this, the time of change that you would look outside, it was starting to get cooler. It just felt like, yo, it's starting to get darker a little bit earlier. You would have to come home. You, you would start this new routine of, okay, I gotta wake up, I gotta go to school, I gotta eat at this certain time. And everything was laid out for us. So why would we wait till New Year's to make all these changes? For me, and honestly, a lot of people, what it seemed like online, it's not by my word, is that New Year's honestly almost felt like the midpoint. Whenever you would get from Christmas break and all that stuff, you would come back. This was the second semester. This wasn't the new year. My point is, is that what do you want to do? And especially if the New Year's goals only last about three months, or actually any goal in general usually lasts about three and a half months for the average human being, Then right now, if it's about October, for the next three months, we can reinvent ourselves and make sure that we completely blow up and completely take off of whatever it may be for this upcoming year, 2025, or even if you're listening to this podcast two years, three years from now. I want you to go ahead and just envision what do you want to look like? What does it want? What do you want it to be? What do you want it to look like? How do you dress? How do you feel? What what are you going after? Are you losing weight? Are you maybe buying new things. And this is also another thing too, why start now? It is so hard for a New Year's resolution to feel, I'm going to start saving money. After you just wild out on Thanksgiving, you had you threw this crazy Thanksgiving party, you invited people over, you had to buy clothes. Not only that, fast forward a month, you had to buy all these expensive gifts for people on Christmas, you're broke. so. If you start budgeting today, then you can list all these things of what you want to accomplish and what you want to do. And it can start today versus like, I can do this this year versus uh, I'm going to budget a little bit this year and I'm going to start saving this year. Start setting yourself up for this upcoming year 
but start the change now. This is how the way we've been programmed and this is what's going to absolutely work for you, bro. The next big thing of this topic is also if one out of 10 people stick to their New Year's goals, it can almost be draining, overwhelming. The list can go on of being like, oh my gosh, man, another year that I did not fulfill what I was supposed to do. I did not fulfill what I told myself I was gonna accomplish this year. I did not fulfill what I said was on that New Year's resolution goal. I was supposed to do this, 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 this. I was supposed to save two grand this year. I was supposed to be doing this, this, and this. But what happens, and this is not only me, this is you, this is everybody. If we have an exam to study for, or if we have this project that needs to be done in a month, a lot of us, now there's very few of you guys, and I am not this person, that will do it the day that you get it, it's out the way, it's done, and it's boom. You got it done. But whenever you have a month to do so, you might do it a couple of days before. And you could blame it all on, all on this stuff. Oh man, I'm great at procrastinating because whenever it's time to lock in, it's time to do it and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna go all out for those next three days and whenever it may be. But if you just have this time period, you're gonna make sure that it's done whenever you have that timeline. The timeline is a month, I'm gonna do it a week before that month is done. Versus if you have a year, you're gonna push it off to the end of the year. And then now you almost feel overwhelmed because your goals are coming up that you're supposed to do this year and you have not done any of them. So let's minimize that, let's cut that down and let's make this for the next three months. And this is really what also changed my life too is that whenever I wanted to get ahead in life, whenever I started becoming the person that I've ever wanted to be, I didn't do these year resolutions for the whole entire year, I started doing it in the next three months and maybe even if you want to do this year go that's fine but what does it look like in segments you could do two and a half months you can do the three months maybe technically the average individual stays and does their go if it's three and a half months long but maybe you want to prolong it if you're going for a, something even bigger which i personally wouldn't do but you do it in increments of four so now you have three different seasons if there's actually four seasons in a year go upon that i feel like that's the best way possible two and a half to three and a half months is perfect and so that's what we're doing right now we're going after everything that we've ever wanted for the next three months okay boom like a checklist we just did them all what does the next three months look like well now it's a new year now you have that motivation now you have that savings now you have that few clothes that you got on black friday to look better smell better uh feel better you got the shoes that were on sale, the list can go on on that portion too. Now you have the snowball rolling. Maybe it was starting a YouTube channel. Maybe it was starting the business. Maybe it was starting whatever it may be. But the last three months, which starts today, has snowballed effect to make sure that whenever the New Year's comes, now the next three months is going to be a freaking blast. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The momentum is high. That way you start breaking it down like this, you already got ahead of 99% of the freaking people right there. You started to do everything that you've ever wanted to do. Oh my gosh, it's time to not feel overwhelmed. It's time to actually go after the goals and the dreams and the ambitions that you've always wanted to do. The schedule, oh maybe you have kids. Well guess what, the kids now leave at 8 a.m., 7 a.m., 6 a.m., depending on if they're in elementary school, middle school, high school. And now all this new stuff comes on and now it's time to go upon it make sure that it happens make sure that it's time to make it done and this is technically your responsibility to make sure that the next three months are going to become the best time possible and then after that 2025 will also become the best year possible and then it's just going to be a snowball effect man the notebooks the journals are still on so there's something about just buying that nice pencil that writes amazing and that fresh sheet of paper that i could just hear it hear you writing down all the things. I can hear the pencil, that nice sharpened pencil and that lead just going on that freaking paper and just writing it down. There's just something about saying, wow, this is a new journal and this is this is it's something about it that's like, all my dreams are about to come true right now. And we're blessed, we're blessed to feel like this. We're blessed to be able to do this. We're blessed that we're gonna be getting in front of 99% of people. We're blessed to become the best self possible. We're blessed to become the better self of us. We're blessed to become and put this old person in the past and make sure that tomorrow we're better than that person. We're blessed that these things are going on sale. We can buy these journals and these notebooks and these pencils that you've been wanting are on sale. And yeah, I know we could really be writing it down on the telephone right now or our cell phone or whatever you want to call it it doesn't really resonate the same 
and putting time out of your day, sitting at the table, making sure that everything is nice, neat, formatted, thinking pen to paper. This is your year. Write down your goals. The next three months, it's time to lock in. I'm Josh McMahon, the Fearless Mentor, and I ask one thing. If you got any bit of value from this podcast, throw us a like and subscribe, and make sure that you comment down below what is your favorite thing about this. What do you want to see next time? If you listen to iTunes and Spotify, throw us a five star and make sure that you follow the channel and hit that bell so you're notified whenever we drop it, bro. We're going to keep leveling up, evolving as people, and make sure that we become the best selves possible. I'll see you on the next one, and as always, stay fearless. We're out, baby. Oh.